When we discuss housing, we talk about personal space, we talk about aesthetic, but for nearly 800 million people living in Asia and Pacific, principally in the cities and in the peripheral settlements, often in what we call slums or, or shanties, uh, there is no firm roof on top of the head. These people are also getting increasingly vulnerable to climate change related risks and the time for intervention therefore is becoming more critical right now. So ADB views the housing situation in Asia and Pacific clearly as a problem. We view this solution to be twofold. That first it has to involve financing for these people because the access to finance is the singular largest limitation which is holding them back. And secondly for the MFIs to deliver this type of financing, substantial training and capacity building is required at the MFI level. We have partnered with Habitat for Humanity, which is one of the largest NGOs in the world and very active in community housing and housing for the poor. And we've seen very high alignment of priorities and objectives and approaches between ADB and Habitat for Humanity. With Annapurna, we recently completed the institutional assessment exercise and the market research. The institutional assessment exercise allows us to understand the business model of the MFI, its product offerings, while also allowing us to understand the capacity gaps that need to be addressed while offering housing microfinance solutions. We also have plans to commence working in Philippines and Indonesia. We are in talks with those MFIs. The partnership between the Asian Development Bank and Habitat for Humanity aims to expand housing loans to low-income families through ADB's Risk Participation and Guarantee Program. Overall, this project would help 20,000 low-income families have access to housing finance solutions which would make them just not economically resilient but also help them prepare for climate change impact within their regions. Uh, the objective is not to hit a headline number, but the objective is to demonstrate a scalability of a model and a partnership that we have with Habitat for Humanity. We're also trying to expand the reach of the program, not just from income generation pers perspective, but also to improve the quality of life of our micro-borrowing clients. In ADB's perspective, gender is really at the essence of our microfinance work. Almost 99% of the clients that we are serving are women, close to about 1.5 to 2 million micro-borrowers every year. We believe that by transferring resources in the hands of women, we are empowering them for decision-making for their families and for the welfare of the individual, as well for the larger societal context.